Hello, 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 everyone. This is Christelle Marchinet. Thank you for being here with me and for listening. Um, channeling Sri Devi was a true um, challenge. It was a challenge. Um, it's going to be a challenge, but I have been speaking with her and uh, she was able to give me so much information. Um, and I, I'm going to start with that and then take questions from you as as I choose, okay? Um, first of all, uh, the underlying factor is that we're going to start clearing the room, all right? We're going to start clearing the room and ushering her in. Okay, now, what has she uh, come to say? Uh, many people ask me, how do you do this? How do you do this? Well, I started doing this because I was urged by souls. They came to me and they wanted a voice, all right? They had things to say. And in this case, it was particularly um, illuminating. First of all, and this will cover most of your questions, I imagine, First of all, she clearly says, my husband killed me. Boney killed me. He was very skilled in hiding it. He paid officials to cease the investigations. Boney also killed his first wife. He will again marry and do the same once again. Then she went on to say that I am speaking to you. I am speaking to you so you understand your just cause. Now this cause, just cause, my guides have been telling me you have to work for just cause, just cause. And this has been years and I never understood it. Souls come to you, she says. Souls come to you who need their voice heard and some need to be escorted to the astral planes. And this is her case where they have not passed. And um, since I am a, a soul of the third order, the third order are uh, souls that are responsible for escorting souls in and out of their physical body. Um, at birth and at death. That is my soul's specialization. And the, the third order also clears souls from negative blocks and restrictions as well. I'm also, she said to me, you are a dream master, which is true. I knew that about myself. And she said, you play a role in other people's dreams. And Many people have said, you've come to me in my dreams, you know, a visionary aiding other people's consciousness. Now, why was I killed? Why was I killed? Because of the so-called sex connection in the movie industry. This is how it's known, the sex connection. It's similar to Jeffrey Epstein's business. For those of you who may have heard this name, Epstein, Epstein, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that. Very similar to um, Jeffrey Epstein's business. My husband, Boney, was part of it, but not the mastermind of it. Where there, yes, are young women and men, some are underage, but not all of them who are there for pleasure. The difference in this sex connection is that these people are not bought and sold. It is always around the facade of uh, favors for political favors, for uh, economic favors of this kind. Now, I have to remember, um, the difference 
like I said, is that they come of their own free will. The people who, the young men and women who uh, go to the sex connection with the promise of improving either their professional life, their work situation, any kind of um, a benefit that they could have. Now, Epstein, she also said Epstein was killed. He did not kill himself. Epstein was killed in jail. Um, it was ordered by two, and she's telling me this, and I'm wondering why is she telling me this? And she's trying to make a parallel between Epstein's um, ring, his, his business, and uh, the, the sex con connection that Boney was involved in. She said Epstein was killed in uh, jail. It was ordered by two politicians who could have otherwise been exposed. They didn't materially carry out the death, the, the assassination, but they were hired to do so. I come to you, she says, I come to you to reveal all this about Boney and Epstein. Their activity needs to be unearthed, discovered, and ended. You mediums, she went on to say, you mediums are the gateways for us souls. We need to find an outlet for communication. Not all souls after light are in the life after life are in the light after souls people pass their souls do not always move to the light but are still in darkness they need to be brought to the light and this is her case bony she says is very powerful he uses black magic he will like i said again marry and again uh, kill his spouse. He does this initially for money. In my case, it was for money, but I found out all about the sex connection. Boney has friends in high levels of government. They too use the sex connection. Okay, this was the uh, brunt of her, her messages. So let me get All right, let's see. Um, let's see. Can you please check if her daughters know that Boney has killed Sri Devi? No, no, they don't. No, they don't, Nitin. No, they don't. Uh, okay. How did you land in the bathtub, bathtub and how did you drown? This is very clear. I was in the bathtub because I wanted to bathe and I was then drowned by him. Um, uh, let's see. Go to other people. Everyone asks about the daughter. All right, let's see. The daughters. Does John V and Kushki know this? No, they don't. And this is more the same i'm asking answering the same questions here uh let's see pra Patina, pratima was anil kapoor aware of the plan to kill her did she doubt of some plan does she have any doubts of plans to kill her and did she know about life insurance on her life yes she knew about the life insurance yes i did no I did not know of any plans to kill me. No. Very, very, very uh, communicative, talking and talking and talking. This woman was, and she was, uh, uh, we say in Italian, affanato. She couldn't get it out fast enough. Um, Kara's asking, did the Sarah's, Saraswati civilization really exist? Did people move to banks of Indus River from there? She's saying no, 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 they didn't. No, no. 
she's saying no. Okay. And she's telling me if this is the truth. Um, will Boney get pun punished in this lifetime for killing you? Yes, he will in an odd way, not by justice, but through his health. He will perish. She's saying perish. She's not saying dying. He will perish from a rapid, de rapidly developing disease. Ah, D, jeer. Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Brown source. Let's see what, um, Hera's asking. Hello. Is, are people, do people face their bad karma's results after death? What happened with bad people after death? Are they punished? Are they punished? No, it's not exactly in the way you are wondering. There is no bad place for them to go, but they do have a way that is not like others. For example, they do not have, they cannot make the decision where they can go, whether to reincarnate or elsewhere. It is, they are moved. This is what she's saying, like check, pieces on a chessboard. They are moved like pieces on a chessboard. Chessboard. Ah. Nirvana. Husband, yes, we did. Uh, we have said that. We have said that. No, everyone wants to know about the daughters. Um, let's see. Shobi. Shohapai, why do dead relatives come in our dream? Just to give you messages and the difficulty is to make sure you can understand it is them. They come to you in your dreams as if it, as if to knock on your door and Please talk to them. Please talk to them openly, out loud. And they will answer in the dream. As the first time I heard that, something like that. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um... Let's see, have you met Sushant? Yes. Yes, he is similar to me in because he still needs to speak. He needs to voice some future messages. But my death from Boney was different from his death because because I at least knew my husband was involved in the sex connection. And we had arguments over and over and over again. I told him I wanted to go to the authorities and to separate. This is why I was killed. Sushant, Sush Sushant knew but did not want to participate, did not want to be complicit. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Amit says, there have been some claims by astrologers that a powerful divine soul like Jesus or Krishna may have been born or is going to be born during these challenging times. Is that true? Yes, that is very, very true. The difficulty is that today 
they will not be recognized as such. And their greatest challenge is to have people believe in them. My goodness. My goodness. All right, there's more here. There are already other other lords incarnated who have this purpose and there will be more you will see for your own purposes you need to understand how you can trust what you hear and this depends on your faith and the trust you have in the figures you interact with. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Pallavi is asking, are the present Bollywood generation of youngsters working in cinema Will they be thrown out and a fresh new faces with real talent be taken? Yes and no. This happens not only in Bollywood, but in all the entertainment industries around the world. They are very... Fickle, I want to use the word fickle. You are temporary. You always have the impression you are temporary. This is why the environment is very toxic for young people and older people. I'd like to think that all working environments that have this sort of competition are toxic, but um, there are probably some um, that are more toxic than others. Um, let's see. Okay. Himadri. I many times had a dream of Sushant. Can you tell me, has he really come to my dream? Yes, yes, I come to many people's dreams, as I did to Christelle, trying to have my voice heard. Not everyone is able to hear me and understand what I am asking for. Ah, oh, it's very common. I hear this over and over and over again that, that, um, let's see, Suma is asking, Hawala Nexus, is that why you were a target? No, no. No, she's saying no. Okay. Renee, are you in peace? No, no, I am not. I have to cross over yet. And this is why I am here now. She's very, very clear. Um, uh, Shobna, what will you like to change about Bollywood and how it treats its people? Everything. Everything. Because there is, first of all, no security while working. Many, especially young men and women, come to the job and accept, accept very, 
bad working conditions. There is little or no insurance around what they do. And this damages the industry for everyone. I would change this and suggest actors and actresses to band together to improve working conditions. This is a start. Okay. All right, let's see. Go back to the bottom. Um, Sonam is asking, how can we raise our consciousness? It is a matter of vibration. People in countries like India and other Eastern countries that have a tradition of chanting, they are favored because the sounds done specifically with intention and often allow you to improve your vibrational rate. This is one way. There is also a way of being present in every moment, being mindful. That will raise awareness and consciousness at the same time. Hmm. Let's see. Wasn't, Nitin asks, wasn't the bathroom locked while she was inside? How can killer enter the bathroom when Sri Devi was inside? Was she actually be killed? Uh, was she killed because of drowning? No, I answered that before. She was drowned, yes, by her husband. The bathroom was open. His intentions, like I said, were clear. He paid all kinds of higher up officers in government and industries to quiet any scandals. These two deaths, his two wives, are not the only wrongdoings he had done during his life. Aside from the sex scandals, he committed fraud, tax fraud, over and over again. Scams as well. Real estate scams he were was part of. Sounds like a real sweet person. Um, Let's see. Okay. Uh, Jaya Prasha Kashka. Um, thank you. Uh, kindly tell Shudevi that we miss her. We love her. Please ask if she communicates with her daughters. No. And I'll tell you why. In this peri spiritual state, it is a place I cannot communicate with anyone. First, I need to cross over. Then I can communicate with them. This is why I enter very often the dreams of many of you. All these years, I, I, what, I, what was it, 
2012 that she passed um so so long ago um minu do we actually meet our ancestors when we die can we see our loved ones uh when we die yes yes you can but you may not be interested i can tell you only little because i have not crossed over you will not as others have told me be interested in communication with very many people except very close loved ones but this beautiful experience i have not had yet who knows how often she's gone into her daughter's dream um let's see um but his first wife expired by cancer yes and no she did she was ill he took advantage of that time and actually killed her then what a person um Pooja is asking, is Prime Minister Modi involved and aware of these rackets? Is he sincere? Does the Prime Minister of India really believe in religious and ethnic cleansing? Does he secretly hate people, especially Muslims in India? This is a jam-packed question. Let's start. Is he involved in the sex? Yes, he knows of them. No, he has never gone and used them but you can see if he knows of them he is complicit he does not believe in ethnic and religious cleansing and no he does not secretly hate people especially muslims no Uh, let's see. Um, kindly ask Sri Devi if prayer would suffice to help her feel better and cross over. No, no. There are certain formulas and rituals I need to be accompanied by the third order to the astral planes. Thank you for your kind question. Uh, let's say, will the farmers win their protest yes they will yes they will let's see um let's see um we don't remember our past birth if we remember you might not repeat the same karmic mistakes again i guess that wasn't a question um under hypnosis, under past life regression, it's possible to get information about um, uh, 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 past lives, definitely. It's very, very, very possible. Um, Disha, Diska, Dish, Diksha, how can we become one with God again? I really long for him. I feel that I have been separate from him christelle please please answer shri devi is not going to uh, be able to answer this let me uh, call in my guides 
one way is through prayer. Prayer is a conversation with God, not requests of God. Learning to pray is the most important practice for you to reach your goals that you want. Okay, nature is life. Will Kaiki avatar of Lord Vishnu incarnate at the end of Kaliyug? She is not able to answer. I cannot, um, I cannot, uh, I cannot rely on, the, on her response. Let me ask my guides. Yes, they're saying yes. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Move. Nature is life. Why is Boney so evil? It is difficult to explain, but I will try. All people, and you would agree with me, as children, you are born with no hatred and no evil. However, trauma causes the soul to become one with evil practice. Darkness is what they will see and fear is how they live. Boney, as I said, will get his justice. He will unfortunately suffer for what he did. Um, let's see. Okay, Neha is asking, um, do we still have sensations left after leaving our body? How does it feel after death as feeling in a human character? Like I told you, I have not crossed over properly. At first, I didn't realize I was dead, but after communicating, attempting to communicate with souls around me, people around me that I follow, I realized that I was in a peri-spiritual place. It has been very difficult. I would like to joke and say it has been hell, but not really. It has been similar to a zone like the twilight zone, an area that has no name, feels no pain, and has no joy. This is not what people who pass feel generally. Okay. Okay. Rak Patel, I'm so sorry. As you can see, I can't get to everyone's questions. I won't be able to get to everyone's questions because there are just too many, but let me see what I can do. What's the best kind of, uh, best act of kindness we can do here on earth, Sri Devi. Love and gratitude. 
give thanks and love. I say give because this is an act of kindness, giving love to others unconditionally, but also giving thanks. Um, trying to get this out of the <laughs> screen here. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see. This is a question. Manish Malhotra and Karen Johar, are they involved in your murder? Yes, they are because they were complicit with Boney and they acted to find someone to carry out the assassination, but also they actually greased palms, as you say. They paid people to keep quiet, and this was complicity. Gee, I feel so, you know, so how how sad this is, how sad. Um, let's see, uh, Dishka is asking, what is the correct way to pray to God? There are, there are books and there are prayers and there are chants, hymns, invocations, many, many published things. The best you can do is carry out a conversation directly and ask for forgiveness, give thanks, and ask for protection. It is very important, especially in these times today, to ask for protection from negative energy in all of its forms. Okay. Um, nature in life. Has, um, have you seen Lord Shiva? Yes and no. I, like you, imagine and in my dreams, when I was alive, I saw Lord Shiva, but I am not there yet. I am not in the divine presence yet. Oh, goodness. Um, all right, let's see. Um, is there a message? that you want to give to your daughters. Yes, my message, if anyone here present can relay this in some way, tell them that I try to connect to them. I enter their dreams persistently over and over again, but it seems they are not able to communicate with me. After today, after this session, I will be sent to the astral planes. In about 15 days, 21, to be sure, in 21 days, I will be able to communicate with them more directly as spirits do and as souls do. Tell them not to be afraid. Tell them that fear is their worst enemy. Their bravery and their faith can truly move mountains. Um, 
Let's see. Let's see. How can I move this? There it goes. All right. Um, British is asking, does Sri Devi's soul know, uh, souls know about the killers of Divya Bharti? who were all involved in Divya's death and why did they kill her? Yes, I do. Yes, there were several people involved in their, in her death. One was a man, but there were also two women. It was strategically planned for quite some time. Why did they kill her? Because she was powerful. She had a power that made certain powerful people fearful. And this was the reason for her death. It seems like the name of the game is power. The idea of power keeps coming and coming and coming uh, around all the time. Mm. Okay, let's see if Min, Minu, Minu Mal, do, Malhora. My nose is itching. This means something. Um, are all the Hindu rich, rituals done at time of death are they actually required or actually help getting peace to the to the deceased soul yes they are not required but yes they soothe the soul in the transition process yes yes okay i'm going to take one more question um Let's see. Uh, Sonal. Sonal, is pranic healing a science that really works? Is it good for humanity? You are the person who asks such an important question. Pranic healing is a science of a different nature. There is energy that emanates from energy all of us and all of you. The energy is prominent more in, in people, in some people than in other people. It can be likened to a gift in the way some doctors, some medical doctors are more gifted than others. I want to say, and I believe, that you are born with a healing gift. There are very few references concerning this type of healing, and they consist of exercises and indications, instructions as how as to how you can read the body and how you can emanate, how can energy emanate from you and how you can transmit heat. It does work. And the element, the positive element of humanity is that there is little or no price for this type of healing. Look for information about this. You yourselves know, you will know, if you concentrate and you feel and you, you will get the answer of your abilities, of your healing abilities. Believe what you feel. And if even just slightly you have the answer 
that comes to you that you can, I suggest highly that you develop it. I want to say that recently, um, in the past three weeks, two of the people who have come, two of the clients that I have had, have come with this gift. Um, and as soon as I, you know, a lot of the times I use Zoom to do my work, any kind of work that I do usually, because I like to see the person. As soon as I see them, I know. And then, then they tell me, then they tell me. And it's very, it's very powerful. It's very powerful. You can, you can feel it actually across the screen. So, so very powerful. Thank you so much for uh, joining me. It was a pleasure. I will be coming back in about two weeks with another soul. Um, people write to me always and ask me to uh, connect with many different people. I put them on a list and I only am able to connect with those who ask me the souls that come to me. I put them on my list and I see them and that's how I know their names. And if they come really literally and knock on my door, then I tune in to find out why. And that's when we come out and do this. Namaste, ladies and gentlemen. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye. Stay well. Stay well. Stay well. Bye-bye.